Big shout out to Rebecca Mongina who attends Valley High School. Valley High School is a public school in Kenya. It is located in Kisirian Rift Valley Province, Kenya. Thank you, Rebecca, for choosing Geography Well. For this video, we will discuss the answer to question number four on the 2021 May June CZ Geography Paper 2 examination. Question 4 shows us a diagram that looks at annual occurrence of natural disaster events in Latin America and the Caribbean where to study the diagram and answer the question below. Now, the first question asks how many disaster events were there in 1999? So, based on the key, natural disaster per year is the bold line so in 1999 you go all the way up and it needs it here you go across when you go across you should be getting 61 so there are 61 natural disaster events in 1999 that's one mark which year has the highest occurrence of natural disaster so we're to look for the year which has the highest occurrence and you can see the peak here and this peak here is 1988 so 1988 is the year with the highest occurrence of natural disaster now if one were to identify one year in which there were approximately 10 disaster events so 10 disaster event so this is 10 and when you go across you would realize that 1972 and 1975 both years had 10 natural disaster events so whichever one you vote then your answer would still be correct that's 1972 and 1975 so during the 1980s which year had the least number of disasters? So during the 1980s, which year had the smallest amount? So between 1980 here and 1989, you'll realize that 1984 had the smallest amount of disasters. So the answer for that question is 1984. And then nowhere to comment on the trend in disaster event between 1970 and 1999. Now looking at the graph, the trend is that it fluctuates, right? So at the beginning of the graph, there was a decrease in the number of natural disaster, and then it increased, it decreased. So there is a fluctuation in the natural disaster between 1970 and 1999 and that would be the answer for the questions that are related to the graph part b asks us to distinguish between natural hazard and natural disaster now natural hazard is an extreme event that threatens human life and property while a natural disaster is characterized as the effect of the hazard on human and property. So natural hazard, it has the potential to cause harm to both human and property. And natural disaster now, it be, a natural hazard becomes a natural disaster when it has basically caused harm to both people and property. All right, let's just move on to the next question. So part, part two of part B gives us a table and in the table we have two hazards where to state the names of two Caribbean countries where each of these hazards became a disaster. So in other words, we are to state two Caribbean countries or Caribbean islands that have been affected or impacted by an earthquake and a hurricane. Now, I am certain that for the earthquake question, everybody basically wrote Haiti, right? Because Haiti is one of the Caribbean islands that is most impacted by earthquake activity due to the transform, 
play boundary that runs close to it. And then if you have Jamaica, it will also be a good answer. Now, as it relates to hurricane, if you have countries that are Jamaica, Barbuda, Dominica, Puerto Rico, Haiti, Dominica Republic, or islands in the close to the northern or the middle section of the Leeward Islands, then you are correct. Those are usually the islands that are mostly affected by hurricane activity as that's the path that they usually take to get into the Caribbean. Places like Trinidad, they are not severe, they are not affected severely by hurricane activities. All right, so that's four marks. All right, so All right, so let's go to part C. Part C asks us to explain one possible long term effect of either an earthquake or a volcanic eruption on each of the following areas of a country. So it's only one that you must focus on. All right, but for video purposes, I'll be doing both. So for an earthquake, and for an earthquake, a long term infrastructural effect is that the earthquake can cause damages to infrastructure such as roads and buildings and this can basically lead to the displacement or separation of settlements right houses can be destroyed this can basically lead to homelessness so once infrastructure is damaged it can lead to displacement of the settlement or the population as it relates to the economy the earthquake can basically reduce production in the country, thus reducing the country's revenue. The damages that are sustained from the earthquake will have to be repaired. Hence, the funds that the government should be using or should be using in the manufacturing department, the government will have to divide that now to basically help in the recovery process. Hence, production in the country would be at a loss. All right now as it relates to volcanoes volcanoes can damage infrastructures where they destroy or cover infrastructures with ash and lava that is emitted from the volcano and this can lead to the displacement of settlement for example in Sufair hills right that's in montserrat where the volcano covered one third of the island all right now once you have damaged infrastructure as it relates to volcanic material chances are there might be some displacement to the settlement for example in montserrat now as it relates to the economic long-term effect it can basically cause the economy of a country to decrease due to the reduction in production from their different industries. So all of these can basically cause long-term effects on the economy as well as the infrastructure and enlarge the population of that region. Part D asks us to explain how two measures used by local disaster preparedness agents in the Caribbean may help to reduce the impact of hazards. Now, the measures used by local disaster preparedness agents in the Caribbean to reduce the impact of natural hazards, they include, the first one is education. These local agents, local agencies, they educate the population about the different types of hazards using different mediums such as television and radio. They tell us what to do before, during, and after the natural hazard in an effort to have us prepared and thus reducing the impact that the hazard may have on the population. Now, the local agencies, they also work alongside other organizations to basically provide the necessary updates on the 
different hazards that they provide information on volcanic monitoring earthquake predictions and hurricane forecasting so that these local agencies can also update the population so that we are hazard ready the local agencies they aid in the preparation of different areas where the natural hazard hence they assist with the cleaning of the gullies and drains as well as they organize shelters for persons who may need it so these local agencies they help us on a local level to be hazard prepared in a sense so as to basically reduce the effects that the hazard may have on the population we are at the end of this video thank you for watching and please remember to like share subscribe and turn on your post notification bell in order to receive more videos like these. Leave comments below suggesting topics that you would want me to present on. In the comment section below, comment the name of your school and the territory for a shout out in my next video. Until then, bye.